Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and we are playing Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. In the last episode, we played the human campaign and discovered that the horrible necromancer Kel Thazad was spreading the undead plague among the human people of Lordaeron in Ravages of the Plague. Let us continue in Chapter 4, The Cult of the Damned. The next day on the outskirts of Anderhal. Wow, the next day. So I guess Anderhal is very close to Brill, or it's just... They they did a force march or something, I guess. They went very fast. And Jaina is still with us. Fuck! It's those cultists who are with the Necromancer. What are they doing to that mine? Let's not wait to find out. Attack! Roar! Damn these intruders! They must not interfere with the master's plan. Acolyte. Let's build a base camp here. With those cultists creeping around, I'd rather not head in there without backup. Good idea. I couldn't agree more. Well, we're all in agreement then. All right. So here's a little secret. On this cinematic thingy, if you hit escape, all of the buildings will be automatically completed, and you do not have to wait, which is nice. What is it? All right. Make a lumber mill here. Off I go then. Yeah, it really speeds up the process. Let's go. Let's leave the mortar team behind because they deal splash damage to your own units if you're not careful. And over here, there's some bandits. So, yeah, it was an ambush. Now, there's one thing I want you to notice. You see how when I look over them, it says they're level and that they're an enforcer? Yeah, so... Part of that is the fact that they are not controlled by any specific AI. They're just monsters that will attack if you're near them. Whereas... Here, let me get to it. And then I can explain it further. Just give me a moment. What? Righto. Here we go. See these ghouls and how they say undead scourge? Instead of a level, that means that they're controlled by an army, much like I am controlling our army. It's interesting. Oh, here comes another one. Well, I guess we should just push on towards Anderhal, huh? Of course. Certainly. Hmm. You are past redemption. So you see here, these are undead buildings. For honor. And I am trying to destroy them. Now, usually, you would not attack them yet, because, you know, it's dangerous. But I'm a good player. We'll see what happens. It could speed up the process. That'd be nice. And I want more peasants so I can gather wood faster. Alright, destroyed their graveyard. Kill this guy. Now their main building right there is shooting spirits at us, and so I have to make sure our units don't die because of that. Let's destroy this. If you micromanage properly, you should be able to do this rather easily. Especially if you have lots of scrolls of healing like I do. And silly me, I left our my silly mortar team back here, and they're the ones who are best at destroying buildings. Ah, oh, I just missed that heal on that footman, so he died. That's too bad. Well, it looks like we're doing pretty well, so... That's destroyed. Let's destroy this. And get our mortar team to destroy it. And I do not want our priest to be in range of that. He can just sit there and heal himself. Let's make some more footmen, I guess. And build a black... All right, no, not another barracks. A blacksmith. And upgrade that. And yeah, th things are good. Oh, that footman's gonna die. Unless I heal him! Let's make another water elemental. 
No, another footman died. Well, that's what happens in a game like this. You lose your units if you're not careful. And I'm not being super careful. However, we have managed to really destroy this base very quickly, so things are going well. I do not want the priest to die, so let's avoid this. Alright, now we can just let our units have free reign over here, and I will not have to worry about any counterattacks, really, because they have nothing to make units with. So that's delightful. Just in case Arthas or Jaina die, I'm gonna make an altar of kings so that I can revive them, but I do not think any of them are going to die, so... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, I'm a little under the weather at the moment, so please forgive any, any coughs or things of that sort. Let's get all the upgrades we can, and start making some rifle... Well, then let's not queue up all of those, and get some riflemen. And destroy that ghoul. Alright, let's just have them attack this area, and they will destroy everything here. I do not have to worry about our army. Let's get some more riflemen, work on my macro, as it were, which is base and unit production. Alright, that's done. Righto. Upgrade complete. Wait, what upgrade completed? What? Oh! <laughs> the keep. Alright. Let's upgrade our lumber harvesting then. And really... Do I have five on the gold mine? No, I only have four on the gold mine. Well, that's stupid of me. <laughs> Go collect from the gold mine. Yeah, that's really dumb of me. No wonder I don't have enough gold to do anything. Alright. Let's leave the mortar team here. Because he's not important. And let's go exploring, because we have other stuff to do. Up here is Andor Hall, you know, city limits and such, but there's so much more map to explore, I want to I wanna go see it. So let's go down this way. Don't you want to explore with me? Come along! Let's go! Oh. Alright, make more farms. What is it? Yes, me lord. Oh yeah, I only have three farms. Okay. Let's make a lot more farms. Yes, no, not there. I want to make it in a nice little clump. Yes, me lord. No! Research here, and yes, here, and here, right. and here. There we go. Justice shall be done. Let's go on our merry way, shall we? Of course. Over here we're going to find more creeps, more monsters that are not part of an army. Oh, oh, murlocs. Oh dear! To Murlocs! Let's make an Arcane Sanctum. Make more priests. Always delightful. Once that farm is built, we're going to make another rifleman. In three, two, one. Now. I'm here to help. Okay. Onwards. For honor. Yeah, for honor. Certainly. For for glory. Of course. Of course. For forest trolls. Forest trolls are in every forest, I suppose. Oh yeah, see this is why you explore the map instead of just beating the the mission, because they give you items of delightfulness. Let's get rid of this mall of strength because it only gives you plus one as opposed to a plus six attack. Yeah, those cl oh. And a scroll of protection? Eh. Eh. Alright, let's grab it. Jane is my support character, apparently. She's going to be doing that for me. I'm here to help. There we go. Got another rifleman. What's oh, that knoll. Where'd come back, you you coward! You filthy hyena person! Ah, it was a trap! I've been duped! This is all your fault. Your fault Oh, he's dead. Well it was his fault. Alright, Arthas leveled up. Holy Light now heals for 600, and thus deals 300 to anything that is undead. So that's cool. Let's make a workshop. 
like. You guys possibly cut down trees that are not really far away. Probably a good idea. A potion of healing. Eh. Oh, there, here's what I'll do. I'll grab that potion of healing. And then sell it to this goblin merchant over here. For honor. He's like a thrift store. He accepts anything. Of Job's done. Certainly. Just like that song. I'm you know the one. I wear your grandpa's clothes. I look incredible. Yeah. It's a good song. It's catchy. Certainly. So we're destroying some rock golems. Blah, blah, blah. Opening up the way to this gold mine they suggested that we use, but really, we do not need to use it. But again, the main reason I'm doing this is to get better gear. So I get this ring of protection plus two. Instead of a ring of protection plus one. And let's cast a quick heal. Boom! Clear the way of anything else. I don't think there's anything else, actually. Yep. So I could send a peasant over here to open up the gold mine, but... Eh. Alright, let's do that. Let's head over here and make a town hall. Because we can. And look, away into Anderhall, except it's blocked off. Yep. So, you see. More forest trolls. Let's make a couple priests that can meet us back here. And upgrade our riflemen. Upgrade our riflemen. Come on! Wood. There we go. Upgrade our riflemen. The light is my strength. Continue along our merry way. Oh, there was actually a way to get back over here. I didn't have to go down the long way. Of course. Well, isn't that nice? Certainly. For honor. No, I swear I that there are some murlocs around certain. here somewhere. I guess it's not really that important. A sound plan. I doubt they have anything super awesome for, honor. for us. Grab that Justice priest. Shall be done. I stand for the light. And let's continue. Certainly. Let's actually finish the mission, shall we? What is and it? you help finish that, because you can. And I'm going to set this mortar team to a different hotkey. Right now I have my main army set to 1. So they will go, whenever I press the one key, it will center me on Arthas and my army. And if I press two, it centers me on the mortar team. So I can give them different actions. Hello again, children. I am Kel'Thuzad, and I've come to deliver a warning. Leave well enough alone. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Are you responsible for this plague, Necromancer? Is this cult your doing? Oh, yeah. Yes. I ordered the cult of the damned to distribute the plagued grain. But the sole credit is not. Then whose? What do you mean? I serve the Dreadlord, Malganus. He commands the scourge that will cleanse this land and establish a paradise of eternal darkness. Interesting. And what exactly is this scourge meant to cleanse? Why, the living, of course. His plan is already in motion. Seek him out at Strathol if you need further proof. Alright, we will. What, we're just letting him get away? <laughs> well, that's stupid. I guess we do have to fight these, but still, we wouldn't just let him get away. Alright. Well, let's destroy these granaries. They're kind of damaged. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh, guys! You remember little Timmy? Oh, little Timmy. Oh. Well, I guess we've got to kill him. Put him out of his misery. The Ring of Superiority? What's that do? Plus one bonus to strength, agility, and intelligence. Well, that's a pretty good item. Um, gosh, we have so much crap. Let's just use a scroll of protection. Grab it! Continue! Ah! Wow, that exploded. How did two ghouls explode a barracks? Have you ever thought about it? Barracks are huge. 
How do we destroy buildings with, you know, swords and bullets and stuff? That doesn't make any sense. And another goblin merchant to buy anything. Don't really need anything. We are really awesome. Destroy that. No more upgrades to be had. I guess I can upgrade the footman to have defend, but it's really unnecessary. A sound plan. Let's get. Oh, it's one of those ab abominations. Three of them. Oh, four. Four. Well, we've got a serious fight on our hands. Okay, my goal is to not lose a single footman. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Oh wow, five technically. Well, we're doing okay. Man, I don't even... Let's just use Holy Light on an Abomination. And it's life quicker. Because I have so many priests. I have three priests healing up my army, so I do not have to worry about them. Boom! Alright. Let's destroy this slaughterhouse. That's where they were making the Abominations, sewing them together and whatnot. And then we'll kill Kel'Thuzad. Well, that was anticlimactic. He's just standing there. Naive fool. My death will make little difference in the long run. For now, the scourging of this land. Wow. He was very radioactive, apparently. Alright, guys, that's the end of this episode. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, make it your favorite video. I don't know, do those things, it's really nice. Alright, see you next time.